Assalamu alaikum. Today we will solve examples of practice set 1.1. Question number one find the distance with the help of number line. So, on number line, the coordinates of points are given. Using that, you have to find the distance between two points. So, first is distance BE. Now we will see the where distance BE. Coordinates of coordinate of B is 2 and E is 5. So which is the greater one? 5. The number on right hand side of the number line is greater. Coordinate which is having. So 5 is greater than 2. So first is coordinate of point E minus coordinate of of point B. So coordinate of point E is 5 minus 2. Distance 5 minus 2 is 3. So distance BE. We will see here on the number line 1 from 2, 1, 2 and 3. So distance between two points is 3. Second one, find distance JA, distance JA, J and A. A coordinate of J is minus 2 and coordinate of A is 1. So, the coordinate 1 is greater than minus. So, coordinate of A, 1 minus coordinate of J is minus 2. So, 1 minus minus 2 is 1 minus into minus plus 2. That is distance J is also 3. Third, find distance PC. Find distance between point P and C. So, coordinate of P is minus 4 and coordinate of C is 3. So, 3 is greater than minus 4. So, coordinate of C 3 minus coordinate of P is minus 4. So, 3 here minus into minus plus 4 which is equal to 7. Fourth one, find distance JH, find distance JH. So, coordinate of J is minus 2 and coordinate of H is minus 1. Now, here minus 1, the number which is on right hand side of the number line is greater than the number on left hand side. So, coordinate of H is greater than coordinate of J. So, H is minus 1 coordinate minus minus 2 which is equal to minus 1 plus 2 which is equal to 2 minus 1 is 1. Here distance is always positive. Whenever we find the distance, distance between two points is always positive. Remaining example you will solve in your notebook of question number 1. Question number 2. The coordinate of point A is given as x and coordinate of point B is given as y. Find the distance A. Now we have coordinates x and y are given. So x is equal to 1. And y is equal to 7. So distance AB. Now here coordinate of y is greater than coordinate of x. 7 is greater than 1. So coordinate of y minus coordinate of x. Which is equal to 7 minus 1. 7 minus 1 is equal to 6. So distance AB is equal to 6. Second, x is equal to 6 and y is equal to minus 2. So, distance AB. Now, here 6 is greater than minus 2. So, now coordinate of x minus coordinate of y. So, coordinate of x is 6 minus 
coordinate of y is minus 2. So coordinate of x6 minus into minus is plus 2. So distance AB is equal to 8. Third example. Third example, the coordinate of x is minus 3, x is equal to minus 3 and y is equal to 7. Now here, coordinate of y is greater than coordinate of x. So distance AB is equal to coordinate of y minus coordinate of x. So coordinate of y is 7 minus coordinate of x is minus 3 which is equal to 7 minus into minus plus 3 that is distance AB is equal to 10. Fourth example, coordinate of x is minus 4, x is equal to minus 4 and coordinate of y is equal to minus 5. So distance AB is equal to. Now here the coordinate of x is greater. Minus 4 is greater than minus 5. You see on the number line. Then this number is minus 4 is on right hand side and minus 5 is on left hand side. So minus 4 is greater than minus 5. So here coordinate of x minus coordinate of y. So coordinate of x is minus 4 minus coordinate of y is minus 5 minus 4 minus into minus plus 5 now here 5 minus 4 or when one positive one negative that time you should take the difference difference between two number is 1 sign of a greater number is positive so it is plus 1 so distance AB is equal to 1 distance is always positive remaining two examples we solve for homework Question number 3. From the given information below, which of the point, three points, is between other two? So, here we have to decide the betweenness. Which point is between two points, among three points? So, first, see the distance. Three distances are given. Distance PR is equal to 7. Distance PQ is equal to 10. Now, distance QR is equal to 3. Now, here, distance PR plus distance QR which is equal to 7 plus 3 7 plus 3 which is equal to 10 and distance PQ is also equal to 10 therefore distance PQ is equal to distance PR plus distance QR where this R is between T and Q so here P dash R dash Q so therefore betweenness exists point R is between point P and Q. Second example. Distance RS is given 8. Distance ST is equal to 6. And distance RT is equal to 4. Now here, distance ST plus distance RT which is equal to 6 plus 4 which is equal to 10 and distance RS is given as 8. So therefore, your distance RS is 
not equal to distance st plus distance rt. Hence, therefore, betweenness does not exist. Does not exist. So, in this example, you see if the distance, the greater distance is equal to sum of the other two, then betweenness exists. Else, the betweenness does not exist. In the same manner, should solve the remaining examples of question number. Three in your note. Question number four. On number line, points A, B, C are such that distance AC is equal to ten, CB is equal to eight. Find distance AB considering all possibilities. So here there arise two possibilities. So first possibility is point C is between A and B. So distance AB. Is equal to distance AC plus distance CB. Now here, this is the first possibility. Here the distance, uh, this point C, is between A and B. Now distance AB is equal to ten plus eight. Therefore, distance AB will be equal to eighteen. Second possibility is distance point B will is between A and C. So here distance AB is equal to distance AC minus distance CB. Here point B is between A and C. So therefore distance AC is equal to ten. Distance CB is eight, so ten minus eight. Distance AB is equal to two. Question number fifth: Points x, y, z are collinear points. Distance x, y is equal to seventeen. Distance y, z is equal to eight. Find distance x, z. Now distance x, z is equal to distance x, y plus y, z. Since points are collinear, between this x dash, y dash, z. Therefore. Distance x z is equal to seventeen plus x y z is eight. Seventeen plus eight is twenty five. So distance x z is equal to twenty five. Sketch the proper figure and answer the following question. First one a dash b dash c. So here distance a c is given eleven. Distance BC is equal to six point five. Find distance AB. So, as per the diagram, should write the formula of betweenness. Distance AC is equal to distance AB plus distance BC. A dash B dash C. Now, whatever distances are given, should put the value of that distance. Distance AC is equal to eleven. AC is eleven. BC AB we have to find distance AB plus distance BC six point five. Therefore, distance AB is equal to eleven minus six point five. Therefore, distance AB is equal to eleven minus six point five is four point five. Next, second example R dash S dash T. Distance R S is equal to two point five. S T is equal to seven three point seven. So distance R T is equal to distance R S plus distance S T. Therefore, distance R T is equal to two point five plus three point seven. Therefore, distance R T is equal to Two point five plus three point seven is six point two. Third example: x dash y dash z. Here, x y equal to root seven. X z is equal to three root seven. You have to find 
y z so distance x z is equal to distance x y plus distance y z as per the betweenness therefore x points are collinear now distance x z is 3 root 7 is equal to x y is root 1 root 7 plus distance y z therefore distance y z is equal to 3 root 7 minus 1 root 7 therefore distance y z is equal to 3 root 7 minus 1 root 7 is 2 root 7 distance y z is 2 root 7 now this case is regarding for four linear points now next question which figure can draw if from three non collinear points when the points are said to be collinear when the three points are on same line then they are then they are said to be collinear points so let us take three non collinear points a b c which are not on same line now we have to draw the figure which figure you will get after joining these three points so let us join all these three points join line ab point ab then point bc and point ac bc and point ac all three points you have to join join ab bc and ac so which diagram we will get you will observe the figure geometrical figure it is a triangle so we get a triangular figure after joining three non-collinear points.